Good morning, seniors. Good morning, juniors. Thank you for coming in such an orderly fashion. We have an exciting morning planned for you this morning and some wonderful news. I'd like to turn the microphone over to Board of Governors President, Nick Getz. Nick? Hello, everyone. You guys excited to be here? students, parents, and staff members of Danbury High School. My name is Nikki Getz and I'm your BOG president. We are here to celebrate my drive. For the past couple of months, we've been focusing on safe driving through Celebrate My Drive. This all starts on day one when you learn how to drive. Honestly, there's no better feeling than the independence you gain from your parents the day you get your license. This past October, we as a school and as a community made the pledge to safe driving. For eight exciting days, we encouraged the community to make that commitment. Today is the day we find out the results for all of our hard work and dedication. But before we could do that, there are a number of important people we would like to thank. We would like to thank Mayor Mark, from day one. Who from day one was in it to win it. He planned, collaborated, and of course, he tweeted every step of the way. Although he is the mayor, he will always be a teacher at heart. Now let's give a warm welcome to our mayor, Mark Big Papa Valley. Thank you very much, Nick. Let's give Nick and uh, the entire BOG a nice round of applause around the deck and everybody. Ms. Cal, Ms. Dale Brown, Mrs. Grace, for all the great work that they've done. How about a round of applause for the best principal in the state of Connecticut, Mr. Gary McCaskill. Right. Of course, we want to welcome Dr. Pascarella, our superintendent of schools, and, and the parents, and everybody that's here uh, today from the Board of Education. This is, a, uh, this is a big mo, uh, I think, in the history of Danbury High School. Uh, I taught here for many years, as many of you know, and I've never seen, I have never seen uh, the community rally around a group of students the way you engage the city of Danbury in this project. I think you ought to give yourselves a round of applause this morning for what you saw out. Everywhere I went, I saw our hashtag. We had like a broken down vehicle at exit eight that I got yelled at every morning by people who lived up there because they didn't get it and I explained why it was there. Uh, we had uh, marketing all over the place uh, and it was really went viral all over the state of Connecticut. I had calls from people uh, all the way, every corner of the state that was keying in their email addresses to help us out here in Danbury. So uh, these folks deserve a lot of credit for bringing the community together. This is the most community spirit I've ever, ever seen about anything. So congratulations, DHS. So, I know what you wanna know. I'm gonna ask that uh, Maria and Tom come up here from State Farm. Uh, they have uh, some information for us. All right. But uh, before they tell you what you need to know, I just want to tell you one more time how incredibly proud I am to be mayor of this city. You guys are absolutely amazing. God bless you. I'm State Farm Agent Tom Hughes, but more importantly today, I'm proud to be an alum of Danbury High School. <laughs> Joining me today, of course,
course, is my fellow agent, Maria Ardonez. She's also been very supportive of the program right from the beginning, and we've both been rooting for Danbury from day one. Also supposedly to be here are our Public Affairs Department, Jen Young and Arlene Lester. They are bringing the award. They are stuck in traffic. <laughs> they are driving safely to make the meeting. They're not returning my texts nor my phone calls. We can't even begin to tell you the excitement that's happened in our corporate offices in Bloomington of Danbury and how the community has rallied around you, the students. And you hear so many things today about what's going on with teenagers and their direction and their commitment. And, and everyone in this room, in our community, because Tom and I both live here, have said, this, these are the leaders. This is what we have to look forward to. So let's everybody take a breath and, and commend yourself because you are the ones that have set the example of what, of what um, true, <laughs> true sportsmanship, true character, and commitment to a cause is about. So first of all, we are so proud of you and we commend you on this celebration. Everyone throughout the community and everyone at State Farm just say thank you and keep up the good driving. You know, it is a privilege to get your driver's license, and we appreciate your passion and your commitment to safe driving. And keep that up while you continue through your driving career. They made it. As you know, we are awarding 100 schools in the U.S. and Canada with grants ranging from $25,000 to $100,000 based on your commitments to teen driver safety. We had over 3,500 schools registered. To be in the top 100 alone would be an amazing feat. But Danbury, you are more than amazing. Gary, if you mind. Two nicks. I am so proud to say that you were in the top five of the large school category. On behalf of State Farm Insurance Companies, Maria and I are very excited to present you with a check for $100,000. and every one of you. This is an absolutely incredible accomplishment. I can't begin to thank Ms. Calafiori, Dr. Goletta Bruno, and Ms. Fries for all of the hard work, the long, laborious hours that they put in. It's amazing what they did, and I can't begin to say enough about their efforts. Thank you, ladies, so much. <laughs> to the Board of Governors, to peer leadership, to the senior class, and especially to Nick Getz, Nick Mortera, Kate Shannon, Danielle Beal, Chaz Winter, 
Najwa James, Dan Mafucci, Carissa Miguel, and so many more of you. Your work has been amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are my seniors in this auditorium? You are our leaders, and you have accomplished something that no class in the history of Danbury High School has ever accomplished before. You have made the mark, you have left the mark, and this will be forever remembered. Congratulations, and thank you for your commitment, your loyalty, your dedication, and your leadership. Where are my juniors? Juniors! You too worked very hard in this drive, and I thank you, and now I challenge you. Next year, we must win this contest, number one, and it's in your hands, and I know you can do it. Mayor, ba Mayor Bowden, thank you very much for your support of Danbury High School. The Danbury community has always been supportive of Danbury High School in so many ways, and this is just one more means of their support. This really takes an entire community to accomplish something of this magnitude, and the entire community from the mayor to the superintendent to every citizen in this town rallied together. To Dr. Pascarello, thank you for your robocalls to our entire faculty of the Danbury School System. Thank you for your continuous support of Danbury High School. He recognizes this school as the flagship of this community, and I can tell you that he does everything in his power to provide all of the necessary resources that we need on a daily, weekly, and yearly basis. Thank you, sir. The last thing I want to comment on is, earlier this year we had a spirit week, and while we had a great deal of fun, nothing can match the spirit that was exhibited during this Celebrate My Drive contest. This is really what spirit is all about, uniting as one community, as one family, in a common goal, and you see what the results are. We can do great things at Danbury High School, and we've proven that once again. Thank you all. Dr. Pascarello, just a couple of words. Go Hatters. I need to do this. Everybody said what needed to be said. I'm very proud of you. They look at Danbury High School and say, wow, that big place up there with all those students. It's a great little city. You guys were phenomenal during this whole thing. As Mayor Bowden said, we received a lot of calls and support. You know, they look at this school as a leadership school. You are unbelievable. I need to bring some people up here who really did this. Uh, with the three, let's see, with Dr. Bruno, come up, Mrs. Freeze, Ms. Carafora. Where are you? Come on up here, please. Yeah, come on up here. Come on. Come on up here. Those of you that don't know, they spent 24-7, 360, all of that time up at the mall in about trying to get folks to uh, vote for, for this program. They did it all, so let's give them a round of applause. Oh, you want to open the curtains? Would you open the curtains? There's another hundred thousand dollars behind the curtain. Curtains. Thank you very much. Congratulations, the Danbury High School cheerleaders.
time. Let's give it up. We could not have done this without our local Microsoft store, the employees and the man in management. They provided us with retail space, tablets, and encouragement each and every day. At this point, I would like to welcome up Caroline Biganati, Community Development Specialist. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say that when your fellow students and the Board of Governors first approached me with the idea of us hosting this for you guys within our store, there was no hesitation. We said yes right away. We have a lot of associates that went to DHS, currently attend DHS, or have siblings or family that go to DHS. So almost everyone every day was so excited for them to set up their huge sign and <laughs> be able to reach out to the community any way that we could possibly help. So each day we were encouraging you guys to make the most of our retail space and we're glad and so proud that you guys won not 1000 not 50000 but $100,000. So give yourself a So, although you're saying thank you to us, our store, and on behalf of everyone that's worked with you guys, I wanted to say thank you to you for offering this great opportunity to help the community at Danbury High School. Thank you. for our store because everyone couldn't make it today. Obviously we have to work, but everyone wanted to know how you guys did. I made sure I did not tell anybody, even though they kept on asking me. So I would love to get maybe a video of you guys maybe cheering and just being so excited that you won so I can bring it back and show them. So I was gonna just go from left to right and get it around and if you guys could either just all stand up and cheer or give a wave. We need everyone to stand up in their seats. Every single one of you guys. Everyone, on the count of three, yell and scream. This is going all over the place. All right, one, two, three. once again. Our local State Farm agents, Tom Hughes and Maria Ordonez, met with us on countless occasions here at DHS after school during many of our planning meetings. They were a critical part to our success as they supplied our campaign with banners, posters, t-shirts, and constant dedication. Their advice and guidance was also critical to our accomplishment. Without them, we could have not have been so successful. Today we would like to present them with a small token of our appreciation.
suggestions about what we're going to be spending the money on. 10%, 10% of the $100,000 has to go towards safe driving. So we'll uh, plan something around, around that. Um, but there will be uh, boxes around. Uh, we will let you guys know over the announcements. Thank you guys. I, there's, words can't describe how happy we are and how the administrators are and everything. So thank you guys very much.